Well, good morning, guys. And um, today I've decided to try the, the bobble float for a change. And um, I'm just at pickle come now, just coming around the corner, and I've picked up a fish already. First bass of the year! There you go, first bass of the year. Off you go. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's quite funny actually, last night, I got in the bed up last night because as you all know, you follow my channel, um, I'm an early morning person, likes get, going out fishing early in the morning. So last night, I decided, I guess in the bed at half past nine last night, and then I started adding thinking, why don't I try the bubble float tomorrow? And then I'm thinking to myself, Wow, uh, where have I put them? So, I ended up getting out of bed, getting dressed, and then going on a, and I found them after an hour. <laughs> so, and then the time I got back to bed, <coughs> it was gone 11 o'clock. So, I haven't had much sleep, and then I got back up at half past three this morning. So, but, I can't moan, I've had my first bass of the year on a bubble float, so my plans are today, I'm at Picklecum at the moment, but I'm going to paddle around Core Sands, right up to Penley Point, and then back again, around that way, just for a change, so... That's not a bad start, I've had one, I know it's a small one, but I'll rather catch a fish and not catch a fish at all. So, let's see what else is out there. What a difference in the in a weekday, compared to weekends, Coral Sands and King Sands. It's like a ghost town. Well, I've been fishing now and the point for over an hour and I've not even had one take
He got a fish! We got another bass! Hello beauty! There you go, another nice little bass! Second fish of the day, well, second fish and I've been out here for what now? Five hours! Go on, come back! Oh, he's putting up a bit of a fight now. Come on then, let's see ya. Well, I'll take this all day because at least I'm catching fish. Come here, my beauty. Here you go. There's another one. Right, more bubble flow. How I set mine up. I don't put no water in it, and the line is. Oh, it's about 12 foot, well, say, yeah, about 12 foot, about 12 foot long, long. all I do is put it back in the rod holder, and then, hang on, then all I do is turn myself to the way I want to go, I've got fish jumping around here, Because I, because I use a different colour line now. Uh, this year I've gone for jade braid. This is fifteen pound on this rod, and on my other rod it's ten pound line. So I just let it keep going out. It makes it easier because I know when to stop now. I don't know how well you lot's going to see this on the camera, but there you go. As soon as I hit, hit the green, that's it, and I'll lock it in place. And then I'll just carry on paddling normally. And at the moment, I'm doing about three knots. I was just letting it out, and there's a fish on. Come here, beauty. Oh. Yeah, number one. Well, I can't moan. 
I've been out for six hours now. I had four, four small bass. I'm happy with that. Um, Penley Point. I went all the way to the buoy, back again, buoy, back. Not even a take. I spent a good hour and a half there. Not one take. And nothing, nothing was showing up on the fish finder there. So then on my way back, I went, I changed over to the bobble float again. And I've had another free bass, so I'm happy with that. I rather, I rather catch little bass in cool and say blankly blank, as they say. But I've had enough now. So I'm gonna make my way in. I didn't get much sleep last night. Because like I said, about going on a hunt to find the bubble floats and it paid off to find them again. So So I can't moan. I've had fun, I've had fish, I've had a lot of sea air, anyway guys, tight lines till next time.